anytime mm. you miss a lesson i still promise whether there's someone or not i'm gonna have this thing together because it helps you on an exam part watching yeah, yeah. it is kind of these are you know that's why i say exam preparation kind of give you something that is compressed of course mm-hmm. you can seek uh, more resources from your textbook from your other parts but this kind of compresses the whole mathematics n1 and and, yeah. give, and gives you an idea see so now okay. when i'm having tell me if my screen keeps showing up as i'm presenting okay it's full so, here yeah so you've got the intervention plan here i think you can see number 1 up to number 9 so mm-hmm. this is the topics that we're going to be having so for today we are looking at uh i'm not going to do lesson 1 because for some reason it's lesson 1 is in all the lessons because if i say yeah. mathematical operations i'm talking about your plus your minus your divided and your times so these mm-hmm. are operations that are applicable in everything here so we will be applying them but today we're going to be looking at lesson 2 and push for lesson 3 so these two you understand okay. so that's why he yeah. says we're going to focus that on day 1 So that's okay. why I have to I have to stick to the schedule otherwise mm-hmm. you see up to day 5. So everything yeah. is just set up for that. All right. So are you saying you can see my screen? What are you seeing right now? I just want to see the how quick the screen is changing. Yeah, I can still see your divide the multiplication. Okay, thank you. All right. Thing. So it's changing as it happens. So these were the four basic mathematical operations they are talking about. So mm-hmm. it's it's just the base basic part of maths. Now, do you have a calculator with you, Martin? Yes, I do. Uh, so you are you are having it with you as we are talking, am I right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. have it ready because sometimes you might do a quick check there and there so that okay. it makes sense. All right, look at this man. Let's start this with the lowest common multiple, you know. Mm-hmm. That's the first part. You will find <coughs> also in your in your mathematics, they call it the LCM. Yeah. This one, the lowest common multiple and then you have got the highest common factor so just to give you as an example i'm going to use your calculator uh mm. you guys and then say um in your calculator i think what name is a casio calculator it's a yeah it's a casio uh, let's let me b- pull up my calculator here and then sh- try to see if ever i can demonstrate can you see my calculator i can i can all right look i want to mine is old version so i want you to press number 6 you say 6 mm-hmm. you say equal to Mm-hmm. and then you press shift mm-hmm. and then somewhere here on this rcl and eng like english there is an mm-hmm. fact fact am i right your calculator um, let me do it again yes, I see it. yeah I see it, yes. so press it press it for me what do you see okay mine what is the <laughs> answer there okay let's do it again yes. you say 6 you say Three, equal to equals. and then you say shift and then you press that thing with yeah. fact Uh, two times three. Thank you. Now, always rely on those things. So what you have done okay. is you have converted six. You are saying it's two times three. Give me eight. Yeah. Give me eight. Uh-huh. What does it give you? Same way. Eight okay. equal to shift fact. Eight gives us. Uh, let me see. Two to power. Two, two to the cube. Two. Thank two, you. Three, yeah. Then give me nine. And nine gives us. <coughs> Three squared. Now, what we have done now, you have managed to express these numbers as prime factors. That's what they'll be saying. So when they say express six, eight, and nine as a prime factor, so what they're mm-hmm. trying to say is use that concept. You saw what I just showed you. Now, yeah. the calculators of nowadays allow you to do that. Before, you used to do the longer way. So I'm not going to dwell into that. So this is what you yeah. need to do next time. You are doing. We are dealing with highest common factor, which is HCF and LCM. Now, how do you find now this thing called the LCM? Let's start there to say if they say to you, uh, they need you to find the LCM. Now, what you do is you look at each and every number that is represented. You can see that I've got two. Then you multiply. The other number there is three. So I've got two mm-hmm. types of numbers there, two and three. And then yeah. you look at the powers. Then you take the highest powers. You take three for two. You can see that this is the highest power. Mm-hmm. And then for three, there is power one there because it's two times three. So if mm-hmm. there is no power showing, it means there is a hidden one. But now mm-hmm. the highest power there is what? Is two. It's so two. you put a two there. So you, for LCM, you are looking for the highest powers. Each number must be represented and the highest powers. And then using your calculator, please find for me two cubed times three squared. 
two cubed cube times three squared. Times three. Yeah, just a second. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so um, oh, oh, wait, doesn't work. Two. Two to the power of three yeah. times, and the other one is three to the power of two. So you'll be using that uh, on the calculator. Then it will give you now the LCM. You see, that's how then you find the LCM of that. And we just see my my calculator giving me an error, but let me just see what I'm doing wrong. Okay, let me just pull out mine here. Let's see if ever we are on the same page. Also, mine is, you know. Ah, got it now. Okay. Seventy-two. Thank you. So it's <clears throat> okay. It's two cubed times three squared. It mm -hmm. gave you 72, right? So that's yeah. now this is how you find your lowest common multiple. You understand? So if I say yeah. lowest common multiple, let me repeat again. You t turn these numbers into that. You turn your mm -hmm. 8 into that. You turn your 9 into that. Why are, you doing, why are you doing that? You want to find each and every number to represent here. Then okay. you look for the highest powers. So you look for 2. You saw that it was 3 cubed. Mm -hmm. And then you saw for 3 it was square. Then you mm -hmm. multiply those two numbers, you get that. All right. Okay, so then let's come now to the LCM of this X, Y, and Z, the algebra now. Look at this version that I've given you now to say find mm -hmm. the... Okay, I'll come back to HCF. Let's continue here. Find the LCM of mm -hmm. this, that, and that. So now, pay attention now. As I said, you write each and every letter or number represented. You can see that this for LCM here, you can see that I've got X. I've got mm -hmm. Y, I've got Z, and I've got B. Don't forget to see that. You see? Okay. Then let yeah. me follow the alphabetical order. I've got B, X, Y, and Z. Z. Now, as I said, choose the bigger powers, the highest <coughs> powers. So for X, if you study it, do you see that I've got the power of 3 there? Yeah. So I put for 3 there. I go for Y, the highest power for Y, there is a 4 there. Mm -hmm. I go for 4. And then for Z... The highest power is 3 because there is a 2 and a 3. So I go for 3. And B, mm -hmm. it was just this B. So the final answer is that one. It's B, X cubed, Y4, Z cubed. You understand? Okay. So with the yeah, LCM, yeah. choose each and every number and the letter represented and choose the highest powers. Okay. Now, let's go for the highest common factor now. How is this? How is this different? With the highest common factor, something changes. You are looking for the number that is appearing in all the three. If that number is appearing, for, for example, if you look at six, I've got two and three. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at eight, I've got two. So two is appearing here as common. Mm -hmm. But if I look at nine, I no longer have two. And at the same time, nine has three, which is in six, but not in eight. So at yeah. the end of the day, such a question, if they ask you, what is the highest common factor? There is none of these numbers except one. One is a default number which can go in each and every number. Oh, so you're okay. going to say the highest common factor there was one. Why? Because mm -hmm. one is just a, a, a default number that appears in uh -huh. all. You know? So the answer there is one. one. Then on this other one, if they asked us what is the highest common factor, I look at X is there, I look at X is there, I look at X, I write X is appearing on all the three. Mm -hmm. I follow there is a Y, there is a Y, there is a Y. I also write Y, again there is Z. But I don't have Z here. You see that? Yeah. So I won't choose that. So the answer now, you you see that X and it Y was right. appearing. But guess what? You also choose the smallest powers. So in LCM, we are focusing on the highest powers. But in HCF, we are looking at the smaller powers. So you look at the first one, this one. If I make it B, you can mm -hmm. see that X here was power 1. If you don't see any mm -hmm. power, it means there is a 1. Mm -hmm. Even here, Y, there is a 1. But here, mm -hmm. y is a 2. Here, y is a 4. So you take 1 as the smaller power. One. And mm -hmm. then for x, again, you do the same. So the answer there is what? It's x, y. Meaning, x, y is the number or the letter that will go into each one of them. So that then becomes oh, your okay. highest common factor. Are you with me? Now, let's come back to your exam yeah. now. This is what you're going to see in the exam. This is, they will say, 2.2. Mm -hmm. They will say, Show the prime factors. Now, I'm underlining the keywords there. Show the prime factors of each of the following expressions. And then they gave me the expressions. Let me write them down. They gave me 12a cubed 
B, C. Now I want you to do me that thing for 12 equal to shift fact and then tell me what you get for 12. And then the other number is 30 A squared B, C. And the other number is 81 A, B squared C. So now, just tell me what you're getting for 12. So you say 12 equal to, then you say shift, you press F-A-C-T. Okay, so 12, I'm getting 2 cubed, uh, 2 squared, yes. times 3. Times 3. Then, yeah. that is the number 12. Then I'll write A cubed as is, and then B, C. Give me for 30. 30 equals 30. Uh, 30 is 2 times 3 times 5. 2 times 3 times 5. Then I will maintain my A squared, B, C. Remember, I'm getting this from here from here and here. You see that on top. That's where yeah. I'm getting it. Now, give me 81. And 8 is 2 cubed. 2 is to the power 3. 81. Uh, two, 2 to the power 3. Two to, not the other way around. Not 3 to the power of 3. But that's 81. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. It's 81. It's 81, yes. Sorry. Sorry. It's 81. Yeah. Sorry, mother. It's my writing. I know I know. it's, it's that three. bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's 3 to the power 4. Th thank you. 3 to the power 4. And then I've got A, B squared, and C. Yeah, that was my writing sometimes. It looks, it looks horrible, <laughs> <Sorry>. man. <laughs> I'm left-handed, you know. I always try to defend it by saying, this is a left hand, please, for crying out loud. You guys, don't, don't crucify me. Okay, so now look what I'm saying now. If I say mm -hmm. to you, I want you to find for me the LCM. Now, this is an exam question. You'll get four marks for this. You see? Mm -hmm. So if I say, find for me the LCM. First question, they say, show the prime factors of each. So they'll give you a mark. They give you a mark, they'll give you a mark. But since it's four marks, maybe they'll give you half there, they'll give mm -hmm. you half there, they'll give you half there because it can't be three marks now. So these are the prime factors. When they say prime factors, meaning take your calculator, do whatever you did to get these numbers, these numbers. But mm -hmm. for the letters, it's just the same. Letters will remain as they are, okay? Now, mm -hmm. when you have done that, we go for LCM. I told you for the LCM, you represent each and every number. I can see two. I write 2 times, I can see 3, or there there is 3, any number that is each, each number must write it. There is 2, 3, and there is a 5. I write it. Mm -hmm. You must not leave out any number. And then, okay. then from there, I say, for each number that you have chosen, look for the highest powers. Now, look for 2, there is a power 2, but here, there is no power, meaning there is a default 1 there. So, I yeah. take 2, which is 2 to the power of 2. I do the same for 3. You see, there is a 3 there, there is a 3 there, but there is the higher power there. I put a 4. I go for 5. 5 is just that one, so I leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Then times, I go for the letters now. Same thing, A is there, B is there, and C is there. Again, look for the bigger power. There is cubed. Mm -hmm. I put a 3. I think that's the highest one, because this is square. And then for B, I see B1. There is a 1 there, there is a 1, but there is a 2 there. See that? I took, yeah. that is for the B. So I take what? I take, sorry, I put a square there. And then for C, C is 1, 1, 1. Mm -hmm. So I leave it like that. So the answer is this, but don't leave it like that. You take a calculator, and then when you mm -hmm. take a calculator, what you do is you punch these numbers. You say 2 squared, right, times mm -hmm. 3 mm -hmm. to the power of 4. Are you seeing mm -hmm. that? And then you're mm -hmm. going to say times 5. You need to give us that yes, answer right. there. Equal to, I get 1,620. So yeah, 1,620. And then you write now your A cubed, your B squared, and your C. Then that becomes your final answer. Uh, much easier. Uh, I, was, I used to use a longer version. A longer version. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, just your calculator is your friend. Yeah, I'll show you mm. quite a lot of things that the calculator can be doing for you now. Because yeah. this thing, calculators now are meant to solve quite a lot of things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if they say, with the same answer here, they say it here, now determine the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. So, we just found LCM. Let's find HCF. Mm -hmm. It's not difficult. You use the same concept. The answer is still mm -hmm. here. The answer is still here. When they say it, convert this into prime factors, you are using it to answer, number one, LCM. Now, you're going to answer the what? You're going to answer with it, the HCF. Mm -hmm. Now, which is the HCF? Not difficult. You do the same thing. Look for the number that are appearing in all the three. For example, I can take two. It's appearing. Mm -hmm. It's appearing. But 
That's strong. Okay. Then I try for three, there is our three. See that? Yeah. You yeah. see that? It's five is automatically out because it's not in the first, in the second, in the third. So I take mm -hmm. my three. I see that is common. And the smallest power. I cannot take four. I can only take three to the power of one. Are you seeing that? So I take yeah. to the power one. I do the same thing for the letters. I check myself. Is A appearing? Yes, I see A. There is A. Mm -hmm. There is A. So I, took, I take the smaller power. There is the one there. I put A. I do the same for B. B is appearing in all of them. And the, the moment you see B to the power one, it means take the smaller power. Again, C is appearing in all the three and the power one is there. So it's like that. Then the answer is three A, B, C. B, C. Then you've got that. You get four marks, man. It mustn't take you two minutes. It mustn't take you a long time. You just yeah. do this thing quick. The key thing is your calculator. That 12 equal to shift fact. You write these things as prime factors. In yeah. the longer way, I know maybe you used to do it like this. You'll get your 12 here. And then you say 2 into 12, 6. Yeah. 2 into 6, 3. <laughs> 3 into 3, 1. Now, how many of that is 2 to the power of 2 times 3? You get nothing. No marks for this, man. You're just wasting time. Uh, they won't give you that. They are only teach. interested in this answer. Understand? Mm -hmm. Because they know your calculator can do it. The only yeah. time you can use this, please, don't get me right. If mm -hmm. they emphasize, they say no calculator. Uh, okay. You understand? If they say uh -huh. no calculator, now, but still, I can argue with you that I never use the calculator to get this. It's difficult to prove that I use the calculator here. I yeah. can prove to you that I know 12 is 2 squared times 3. And then you ask me, what did you use? I used my mind. I mean, uh -huh. you know, so it's a difficult thing to prove that students use the calculator. All right. So mm -hmm. that is that part, man. That's one thing done. Any questions on that? No, no, nothing so, so far. So practice on it also. Keep doing it in that version. It might help. Now, let's come okay. to this. This part, factorization. Now, when we're talking about factorization, I'll give you a simple example. If I say 2a plus 6, mm -hmm. and then I say let's factorize. Factor means take out what is common. So you look at the number. Here I've got 2. Here I've got 6. So I'm looking mm -hmm. at something as we're still in the HCF. Mm -hmm. You see? Now, if I say to you, find for me 6, you're going to say 6 was going to be 2a plus on the calculator 6 shift fact. It is going to give you 2 times 3. Mm -hmm. Right. That is that. So now look, 2 is appearing. So 2 is common. Yeah. You understand? So which means mm -hmm. if you're saying find the highest common factor, you're still using the same method. You can convert things into shift fact. You see numbers that are appearing on both. You take them mm -hmm. with the smaller power. So you see 2 is common here. 2 is common there. So I'm going mm -hmm. to take out 2. So now when I'm finding that 2 is common, what am I doing actually? I'm dividing 2a divided by 2. I'm dividing 6 divided by my common factor. So the 2 will cancel to remain with a. The 2 will cancel into 6 to remain with, there's a plus sign, plus 3. I have managed to, add, I managed to factorize. So basically, uh -huh. that is that when you're talking about factorizing. Take out what is common. Are you with me? Okay. Now, yeah. let me make it into another one. Let's bring something simpler here. If I say 3x <coughs> squared plus uh maybe i say 9 x y to the power of i mean x4 to the power y so the, the 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 power 4 is the one that is uh on x like this mm -hmm. now if i say factorize this for me again check on the numbers i have a 3 i have a 9 and then i i think you, you when you check 9 9 will give you 3 squared yeah so which means 3 is appearing and you take the smaller power and 3 is common there because 3 can go into 3 and 3 can go into 9. That's what you have to do. And then look at the letters. You have got x squared and x4. Again, x is appearing, but for HCF, we take smaller powers. So it will be uh -huh. x squared. Right? So when you have yeah. done that, you are saying 3x squared is common. Why am I leaving out y? I'm leaving out y because it's not appearing on the first one. So it's not uh -huh. common. So after that, I'm dividing each item by that. So I'm going to divide this one 3x squared here divided by 3x squared you see yeah and then i'm yeah. dividing 9x 4y and then divided by 3x squared right so mm -hmm. please students sometimes get confused if i say 3 into 3 cancels x squared cancels x squared i ask them what is remaining and then they say nothing it's one one is the default don't say nothing one 
was okay. when you are saying three goes into three once there is that thing one yeah so don't forget so here you are going to put a bracket and say one plus and then three goes into nine three times then <coughs> x squared and x4 how many are at the bottom there are two i'm going to cancel two from four how many will remain two two so i've got what i've got three x two and y i've just factorized in that you know? mm -hmm. so basically that is the basic part now let's come to this one 2.4 it says right. factorize factorization involving three terms it says take out the common factor you'll find this in your exam as the beginning they'll uh -huh. ask you here look at this question here it says uh let's factorize this now focus on the numbers i have a four i have a eight and a twelve you ask yourself which number can go into four into eight and twelve so it's going to be two it's going to be two yes but two is still a smaller number it's not the highest common factor Either. so we want it as the highest one two oh, all yeah. right so what is the next number that can still go into four into eight and twelve you find that four can do that mm -hmm. so you take four instead of two you understand why yeah, yeah. because yeah. four if you divide by four here you divide by four here you divide by four it will work if you divide by two Yes, it's correct, but it's not the highest number. Okay, mm, so we, yeah. so we see that four is is the better one there. And then mm -hmm. after that, look at all the letters that are repeating. I have a P, I have a P, I have a P. So I take out P. Right? Q is not common, and S is not common. Am I right? Yeah. So you yeah. can see that mm. four and P. So now I am dividing each item by four P, by four P, and by four P. That's what you're doing when you're factorizing. So the 4p mm -hmm. here cancels. What are we remaining with the first one? Uh, we did, uh, q. Q minus. Now 4 into 8. It gives me uh, a 2. Oh, yeah, yeah. Am I right? So 4 plus yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. Yes, you're right. And then, remember, we took out a p. So when you take out the uh, p, r, thank you. And then plus 4 goes into 12 three times. Three times. So it's 3. But the p is gone there also. So... You have got three S. You understand? So this becomes yeah. that. You know, look, man, in your N1, they give you that two marks, man. It's not yeah, bad. it's easy marks. It's easy eh? marks, man, that you can capitalize on. Look at this one. I'm telling you, these were taken from past papers. I'm not kidding you. Oh, okay. It's not really like I'm diluting all this. So it's like that. Okay. So you look at this one also. It's still the same. You look at 15 here. You look at 10. You look at 25. The number that we can choose is 5. Mm -hmm. It's the highest number there because 10 can't do. Then you are saying, okay, 5. Look at x. The power, the first one is x to the power of 1. So I'll say 5. And then I've got just x because I can't take power 2 when there's a power 1 there. Right? Yeah. And then look at the y. I also have simple y because I've mm -hmm. got y power 1 and power 2. So I, I must always take the smaller powers. So same thing. You are dividing by 5xy here. So you do this mm -hmm. with a pencil, you know. Because you must yeah. erase. If you write it like this, they'll, they'll penalize you because they're saying, what are you doing now? You, uh, okay. you just do this by pencil. Just to kind of visualize when I'm canceling this, what am I getting? I'm getting mm -hmm. three there. The X is gone. and I mean, the X, there are two there. One will remain. And the Y is gone. Minus for 10, it will be a two there. And then X, Y is gone. So it's just two. And mm -hmm. then 25, 5 into 25. It's five, five, and then x is gone. Y, there are two on top. Only one will remain. So plus five y. You know? So if you get that. It's not, not difficult it's at not all. Not difficult, man. Now we are continuing on this thing. I think the pacing is fine. It's good that. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know whether I'm missing out, guys, who tried to join, but it would have notified me that someone was joining. So far, it's still uh, quiet. This thing is not. Yeah. yeah there's no ringing on my side. Look yeah. at this. Factorization by grouping, man. Grouping. It says okay. involving four terms. Now, first thing, we look at the foundation. Where is it coming from? If they say I must factorize this. Look at this now. I'm having mm -hmm. two things here. I've got a, x a plus b and then mm -hmm. minus 2y a plus b. Now, since a plus b is repeating, this is common. So I took mm -hmm. a bracket and have a plus b. Plus b. And then outside the brackets, what am I having? X, x minus 2y thank you then i've got x minus 2y then i factorize that right then mm -hmm. same thing here 
I think you can see this is standard A plus B, A plus B. Here, what will I have? A plus B and X plus Y. This is just to recap. But there is something that you will find in the exam. This one you will find, the second one. They will ask you this part. Look at this. I have got A, X minus Y, and they have got B, Y minus X. So you need to be very sensitive now to say, this is X, is positive, but here it's negative. Negative. So what you do is, you are still doing the same A, X minus Y. So what we say is, take out a negative from here. Take it out. So when you take it out, it comes and affect that sign. So okay. if that sign was positive, it will become negative. If that sign was negative, a negative, it will become positive. So you just interchange this sign here. Uh, so okay. when you see a positive, since I took out a negative, the negative will come and affect that sign and interchange it. All right. Mm -hmm. So now when you do that, it's now minus B. It was plus B. Then you write it as X minus Y. Okay. You see what you do? Now you have yeah. managed to make it that, but the sign, there it is. So your answer mm -hmm. now is X minus y and a minus b. minus b please don't forget that they will bring this type actually was looking at that but that's a particular type of question today okay all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah so don't forget the key thing is i must take out take out a what a negative sign mm -hmm. so the moment i give you and make i think it will happen here let's do this one i think it will work here look at this one I'm given mm -hmm. px minus y and minus 2x plus 2y. They will give you this again in exam. So I'm going mm -hmm. to solve it like this, equal to px minus y. I need to come up with a similar bracket. But now, mm -hmm. by default, I choose to take a positive out of interest. Okay. So if I take a positive, and you can see 2 is common, I'll put 2 there, mm -hmm. put a bracket. Now 2 cancels 2 to give me minus x, and then 2 cancels 2 to give me plus y. You see, since I took out a positive, the signs are remaining as they are. But mm -hmm. here I've got x minus y, then it's minus x plus y. I must take out mm -hmm. a what? A negative. You see, why? Because x is positive here, but x is negative there. Mm -hmm. Y is negative, y is positive. When you see signs interchanging between the brackets, it means take out a negative on the following one. And then from there, you have p x minus y now from plus 2 it becomes what minus 2 minus. and then i write it now as x minus y so inside you also interchange if it was negative it becomes mm -hmm. positive if it was positive now it becomes negative oh, that's how it, this thing matches now so now you have your x minus y and then you've got your p minus two. minus 2 that is a concept that you can use on that very good all right are you fine there yeah all right yeah look at this now we are going to factorize here by grouping usually they were giving you this type whereby they kind of did something already and it was mm -hmm. a matter of you choosing but sometimes they might want you to do it from scratch like this one yeah so now here usually the simpler one this is basic is an intro you take the first two you focus on the last two right so if you mm -hmm. look at the first two you ask yourself what's common ax plus bx you see that yeah. x is common so what will remain there? A plus B. B. I'm right. Then yeah. always take out a plus as default in the beginning. But you get A, Y, B, Y. Y is common. So what do I have? A plus B. They must always match, please. If you're grouping, they uh -huh. must match. So you see okay. we have A plus B. And then outside the brackets is that X plus Y, okay. which is that. All right. Done. This one, not difficult. Let's come to no. this type. Go ahead. Ask yourself again the first two, what's common? And the last two. So if you if you look at it, it says x cubed minus xy. So you see x is common there. We yeah. can only take the smaller power because it's power one. So we can take the smallest one. We can't take a bigger one. So yeah. now the x there will give me x2. That's what will remain. Minus, if I cancel the x in xy, y will remain. Are you saying that? And then yeah. I say, I say, take out a default plus in the beginning. You look, uh -huh. 2 is common there. 2 and 2. So I can say plus 2. There is no other letter common. So mm -hmm. 2 cancels there to give me minus x squared. You see? Uh -huh. It's minus. I still have to maintain that minus because yeah, I, yeah. I took out a positive. And uh -huh. then plus 2 in 2y, y remains. But why am I doing that? 
you will start to see notice the signs positive x squared negative x squared that's when uh -huh. you rewrite it x x squared minus y and you take out the what you take out that negative so it becomes from positive it becomes negative, negative two you interchange signs inside negative x positive x squared positive, x. positive y negative y right. then right. you've got something common then you've got now your x squared minus y and x minus two outside the bracket is those two guys all right so that is basically not really hard but it's a matter of no. your getting that another one yeah. simpler one they can bring this is also from your paper they give you this kind you know here look at this x3 i mean x4 x3 please take the smaller power x3 mm -hmm. see so x3 goes into x4 only x will remain there because there were three you cancel out only one will remain then x3 goes into x3 it to be plus one you close that bracket and then four is common take out plus four then four goes into four x four into four there plus one then again you have got x plus one and then at the end here you have got outside the bracket is x cubed plus four you know yeah so that same thing here this uh, is basic i'm just repeating myself here but same thing here and same thing here x is common and then you've got x minus three i say but you can see already i've got x minus three then minus x plus three so i'll take out a negative yeah, yeah. but look what am i going to take out here that's where students struggle they'll say oh. in the first one x was common but here what is common here students struggle and say but i don't see anything common between negative x and plus three don't forget there is a default one mm. one. one one there is a one there and three times one one can be the number that represents everything there so you uh -huh. say minus one since you take out a negative negative x become positive x positive three become negative three like that but the key guy was this one mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. you will have x minus three and then you have x minus one please take care of this guy I will, if you get time practice again or if you cause this video i'll send it to you again okay so that you can recap come back to this yeah. for fast forward to this guy and practice questions that are similar to this they usually okay. trick you on this version because students struggle and say there was nothing common so what they do mm -hmm. this is what students will do they will remove here like this they will have nothing here right so mm -hmm. they will have a minus now they are confused what to put there then they'll write the answer as x minus three now they don't know what to write here so they'll write x and then they don't know now oh. what to put there okay you see? so if you don't yeah. know what to put always remember there is a one your one is your friend there that you just mm -hmm. forgot about all right okay. so that is that okay. part so that is what factorizing by grouping i'm not seeing you struggling man this thing is a those, is a you know, those were quite easy you know they, they they don't really have a problem with those thank things you, you know okay. so not much no, not really thanks so. thank you thank you then but these but sometimes these fractions <laughs> yeah now look at these fractions if i'm saying introduction to fractions how do we add and separate fractions in general now on this one let's start with this one when you look at this part if i say five they say don't use a calculator for example here if i say mm -hmm. five over six minus two over three of course you know whenever i say don't use a calculator i just take it first thing is the temptation is take it and find out what is the answer yeah. you know so you take the calculator and just have an idea what is the answer and then i just work towards that answer uh -huh. so you see this is one over six so let okay. me see how they got one over six no. so first thing they do is you take these two you multiply them like this and then like this let me do it uh -huh. so what i'm gonna do i will say three times five so it will be here, uh, five times three. Are you seeing that? Yeah. Then in here, the sign is minus. So it's minus six times two. And then over, I multiply them horizontally, six times three. Just look what I did again. Okay. I multiplied this guy, it was five times three. Then I multiplied this guy it was six times two and i maintained the sign being negative and then mm -hmm. i multiplied this guy at the bottom oh, then okay. after that i can say five times three is 15 minus six times two it's 12 over six times three is 18 right now mm -hmm. 15 minus 12 is three 
over 18. Now, 3 into 3 is 1, 3 into 18 is 6. Did you get that part? Okay, okay, okay. That is a simpler version of doing mm -hmm. it. You can still do it in another way to say, okay, if I don't want to do it that way, because sometimes it might refuse, you can then mm -hmm. say, okay, I need to find the common denominator there. A number that can mm -hmm. go into 6 and 3, and you're saying 6 is common. And then they're saying, okay, okay, since 6 is common, 6, so what you're saying is 6 into the 6, it goes once. So you write 1, then you mm -hmm. multiply by the top there, 1 bracket 5, meaning 1 times 5. Uh -huh. Then you say minus, you are saying 3, how many times does 3 go into 6? It goes 2 yes. times. Then you say that 2 times the top times 2. You see? Oh. Then you have got 1 times 5, it's 5, minus 2 times 2 is 4 over 6. Then 5 minus 4 is 1 over 6. Oh, okay. Two approaches that you can use. All right. Then this approach is more better here. This approach is more better here, but mm -hmm. let's say for argument's sake, I wanted to use the first one. So what I do is I take the first two like this, multiply okay. like that and that way with a plus. So I'll say three times seven plus mm -hmm. four times two over four times seven. Then it will be minus one over eight because I never used it, you see. Uh -huh. Then from there, three times this, you get 21 plus 4 times 2 is 8 over 28. The whole minus 1 over 8. The whole drawback of this method is it makes numbers too big. So now I've got mm -hmm. 21 plus 8. It will be 29. I think 21 plus uh, 8 is 29 yeah, over 28. Now minus 1 over 8. You see? Then from there mm -hmm. again, you now do that. Okay, let me use a, a different one. You do this and do this whereby it will be equal to 8 times 29 minus 28 times 1 you see how it starts getting yeah bigger now. Speaking. yeah mm. so 28 times 1 over 28 times 8 then it becomes kind of a drop it now uh. whereby the numbers are getting big with the calculator so what you can do then the second one becomes a better option you still get the answer but the hard way you know yeah but this yeah. one now you do the second option of highest common factor what you do take your calculator you take that 4, remember 4 is 2 squared, you use that 4 equal to shift fact, and then mm -hmm. plus 2 over 7, right, minus mm -hmm. 1 over 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Are you with me? Now, yeah, yeah. That, that, this you'll get on a calculator, this you'll get on a calculator. Now, if I'm to find here at the bottom here, I need LCM. You understand? So with the yeah. LCM, I said, you look for each and every number represented. You can see that I have got 2, but I take the higher power, which is 3, and then mm -hmm. I've got 7. So 2 is fine, but not squared, I take 3. Mm -hmm. and then 7. Now, I then say to myself, this is the what? This is the highest. Then I use a calculator to find this. So it will be 2 cubed, which is 8 times 7, and I think 8 times 7 is 56. You understand? So now yeah. I know that my highest common factor is what? Is 56. 57. 56. 50. Yeah. So you then say 56 over. Now 4 into 56. I think if I do 4, then 56 over 4, quick one, it's 1. I think it's 14. I don't know. 14. Whether it's 14. Yeah, it's 14. Don't forget 14. Now I multiply by the top, which is bracket 3. See how you do it. Okay. You don't leave the 14 like that. And then you're saying 7 into 56. You say plus 8, you put a bracket, what do you have now? You have a 56 2. divided 7 is 8. Yes, and then you multiply by that top, which is what? Which mm. is 2. See that? And then uh -huh. minus 8 into 56, it's 7, multiply by the top, which is 1. 1. And then from there, you can use a calculator there. You can get your answer over 56. You know? Then you get that. You can, don't use a calculator to say, this times this over 56. You just have to do it on top. Say 14 times 3 plus 8 times 2 minus 7 because they say don't use a what a calculator then calculator. you will get a number there that number will then be that all right now yeah let's look at this multiplication multiplication is simpler when you are multiplying you are saying here look at this 5 over 3 times 7 over 6 you are allowed to cancel 3 here 1 3 into 6 is 2 it divides this way 
right yeah so that i can have one times seven now across it's seven over five times two which is what which is ten. ten i can have that but with division it's a different story man what happens with division you can't divide you know your, uh, your mind is not meant to work with multi uh, your mind is not made, meant to work with minus you know, anything uh, minus sometimes it confuses including divided yeah you, know, you are mainly easy to work with plus and times so you have to convert this into a times but what do you do this goes to the top this goes to the bottom so you have got 15 over 8 times 4 over 3 oh. that's the first thing to do then your three goes there, it gives you a five. Your four goes there, gives you a two. So the answer becomes five over two. You know, that is basically uh, that. Okay. Now, that was that. Let's come to algebra now. What are you going to find in your exam? That mm -hmm. is all what I was doing. Of course, you can't find that in the exam. This is the one that you find. They will say to you, uh, multiplication and division here, simplify this thing. They'll give you that. So it's a division. So remember, you can't work with a division, you convert to a multiplication. multiplication. So what you have when you're converting, so you have got here 4a plus 8, but wait, 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 again, factorization. You can't just write 4a plus 8. Ask yourself, 4 and 8, what is common? 4 is common, you must factorize. Oh. You see, so 4 into 4a, it's a, plus 4 into 8 is 2. You see that? And then I divide mm -hmm. that by 4. Then I multiply. When I multiply, this guy goes top and the other one goes to the bottom. So 4 is on top over mm -hmm. A plus 2. See, they did it intentionally so, so that mm -hmm. at this stage, it depends which one you want to cancel. You can take off this one or that one, but it doesn't matter. You must cancel one mm -hmm. of them. So 4 is gone and A plus 2, A plus 2. So what is the uh, answer remaining there? equal to four. 4 you see so that oh. that you will find this one again previous question paper they will give you yeah. so the key thing is factorize the top xy x squared y squared xy is common on top because it's the smaller powers so xy mm -hmm. goes into xy 1 minus x will remain there and y will remain so it's 1 minus xy divided by xy they're just, you see, already it's gone x, y. Yeah. Then times um, is another trick they want trying to catch you, which becomes 20 goes on top, over. On top again, factorize. 2 is common. Then 2 goes into 2 once. There it will be minus x, y. There's always a reason, man. They don't just give you things by. Um, There's always a reason. Don't Every time they give you a question, ask yourself, what was this guy trying to think? What is he catching me on? He can't just give me free marks for this. You know, mm -hmm. there is a, a catch here. I might be mm -hmm. missing a few things, but somehow, somehow, there is a simple catch here. So, you see this goes, and then xy is gone, and then 2 goes into 20 10 times. Then what is the answer? 10. Ten. Alright, now, let me show you something funny. Here, if you want, I hope you're not going to confuse yourself. You see, our okay. answer was 4 here, right? Yeah. So, sometimes I can check how this thing is correct. What I do is, I'll take a calculator and say... Uh, I'll choose any value of a for example. I'll say let my a be 7 just any number mm -hmm. comes in mind So what I do is mm -hmm. I want to test if my answer is correct, right? I take a calculator mm -hmm. where there is a I put what 7 so I will mm -hmm. have fraction 4 remember a is times 7 because it's 4 mm -hmm. a plus 8 right over okay. 4 you see that one then yeah. I have divided by remember what is my a my a is 7, seven. so it's 7 plus what two, two over four please use the original if you say equal to uh -huh. look at the answer it gives okay. me that guy there okay. you understand i can do the yeah. same thing here on on this one because you ask but say here is an x y what do i do with the x y you choose the same thing for example you say let my x be equal to let's say five and then my mm -hmm. y be equal to six just say five six mm -hmm. so that they don't confuse you so you yeah. say you come here on the couplet again where there is x, put a bracket. Remember, x is 5 times y, 6. You see? Mm -hmm. Minus mm -hmm. x squared is 5 squared times y squared is 6 squared. Numbers that don't confuse, you know? Over yeah. x, y, again, 5 times 6. You see? Then I'll say what? Divided by. I come here, 2 minus 2 times. Always multiply or put a bracket. And then mm -hmm. you say x, y, which is 5 times 6. And then divided by. 
20. 20. I say equal to this guy will give me what? It must give me a 10. Oh, my computer is my computer is, oh, it's is, is, is freezing out there. <laughs> you know, it doesn't want to. I don't know why it doesn't want but to. Yeah. But if you check with it I'll on your side, it. I don't know. Yeah, you can check there. It must give me, um, I think it's just frozen. It must give me my 10 mm. there. You understand? Yeah. So that is the thing that helps you to check am I on track? Did I do this thing right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Now let's go to addition, subtraction. Same thing. What do you do? Now, if it's one number like this, don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. It's easy since the numbers are small. Do that version. Cross, cross, and that. Because it's mm -hmm. simple numbers. It's one. So what you do is, as I said, you cross here. So I'll have five. But look, I have two X minus one. There's a minus there. I need to mm -hmm. protect two and one. I put a bracket. Mm -hmm. So that it will be two X minus one. If you forget this bracket, it will look like it's five times two. So you'll only have 10 X. Oh, yeah. Then one yeah. won't be part of it. You see, so always see. remember the bracket. Why? Yeah. Because the minus or plus tells you whatever you do to two X, you must also do to one. Mm -hmm. Same thing here when I multiply this direction. So there is a minus three multiplies both numbers on top. So for you to do that, put a bracket so that you can have X minus two. If you don't put a bracket, it will be like three X. Yeah. Then the yeah. two will be left out. And then at the bottom, three times five is what? It's 15. It's better. You must look which one works better. In this case, uh -huh. this one of crossing was working better. Now, don't forget, I must open this bracket. This multiplies, that multiplies. Now here, that's mm -hmm. where students make a mistake. It's not mm -hmm. three multiplying, it's minus mm -hmm. three and minus three, you see. So here mm -hmm. you are going to say five times two X, 10 X. Five times negative mm -hmm. one, negative five. That is fine there. But here students just see the negative and they feel like I'll just ignore it. But the question is, it's mm -hmm. a negative, man. I mean, mm -hmm. it makes it means a lot if it's a negative. Minus three times mm -hmm. X is minus three X. And then students won't see this minus. They will say three times minus two. Then they get minus mm -hmm. six. But it's minus three times minus two, minus. which is a positive six, man. That's where mm -hmm. things change. Divided by 15. Then from here, you start to say, okay, they are like terms. I need to collect them, group this guy and group this guy. They've got X. So what I have mm -hmm. now is I'll group it 10X. I'm rearranging here, it's minus 3x, no sign is changing because it's just a matter of rearranging. Then I've got mm -hmm. minus 5 plus 6. I'm just bringing common items together. Divided mm -hmm. by what? Divided by 15. 15. Then from there, 10 minus 3, since it's x, it gives me 7x. Minus 5 plus 1, use the calculator. Please use the calculator, it will be plus 1, plus one. over 15. You know why I say use a calculator? When you're in an exam, you're under pressure. Your mind won't yeah. see this minus. You'll see 5 plus 6 there. And your mind will give yeah. you 11. You know why? Because you are in an mm -hmm. exam and your mind is telling you time is going. You can't make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Everything is too much on check, you know. So yeah. your calculator is there to, to help you not to get mental fatigue. So you need to be using, no matter how simple the numbers are, punch a calculator mm -hmm. so that you don't get tired easy. You know? okay. Now, you will ask, say, okay, with this, what do I do? I'll say, test it, man. Choose any value of x, say let my mm -hmm. x be equal to 15, for example. You'll see how I test it now. If my x is 15, mm -hmm. this one might work for you. Look at this. Mm -hmm. You say 2 times 15, that is my x. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. 2 times 15. Just watch how I do it. Minus 1 okay. divided by 3, right? And then I'll say mm -hmm. minus fraction. Mm -hmm. My x, I say it is 15. So it's 15 minus 2 over 5. Right. So now yeah. the answer that I get equal to, pay attention, it's 106 over 15. So I'm going to write it down here. 106 over 15. That is the answer I got on top, right? What you do is yeah. you come to the bottom. Same thing. Remember your X is what? X is 15. 15. Do the same thing. If the answers are matching, you are correct. So you do the same 7 times 15 plus 1 over mm -hmm. 15 then check the answer it must give us 106 over 15 if it's not so matching it means you made an error your answer is wrong mm -hmm. so you are yeah. looking for the ways how can this thing match it means your simplification 
you are still in on check you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. yeah. yeah so yeah. that is the yeah. card now this one it looks a look a bit long but again that is where now you need to be sensitive look at this question it says three over x squared mm-hmm. minus four x squared plus this blah 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 but now look this guy on top here first factorize mm-hmm. it man because oh, you see okay. there is a four and a two there is a x and x you can actually make this thing even more simpler all right mm-hmm. so if you factorize this guy i will say here is three over x squared minus now four and two two is common is the smaller one x squared and x is x so two goes into four two times x goes into x squared only x will remain and then mm-hmm. plus 2x and 2x will give me a 1 there. Divided by, mm-hmm. divided by x, you see? X. Plus, now here you just say 3 over 1. Make it a fraction also. But okay. look now, the x goes here. You see how it simplifies? I mm-hmm. think actually, yeah, I know I'm working in circles now, but the x there, I wanted that x to go. So that, at the end of the day, what we have? We have got 3 over x squared minus mm-hmm. 2 bracket 2x plus 1 then say over 1 you see mm-hmm. plus 3 over 1 now the common denominator here it's 1 1 x squared so you can see that only x squared is common there x to the power of 2 because this is just a 1 oh. this is just a 1 you see this is a 1 this oh. is a 1 so now you are saying x squared goes into x squared it's 1 times the top which is times 3 you see that yeah. minus 1 goes into x squared, what? x squared. But now there is a 2 there. It's better to already say 2x squared. Bracket uh-huh. 2x plus 1. It's not right to say x squared 2. It's better to say 2x squared. And then, again, 1 goes into x squared is plus x squared. But it was better to write 3x squared, you know. Mm-hmm. This is how this thing is. From here, when you simplify 1 times 3 is 3 minus mm-hmm. you see it's an option which is fine you need to open this bracket again open that mm-hmm. and open that so it's 2x squared times 2x squared 2 times 2 it's 4 x squared times mm-hmm. x is x to the power of 3 because already there is a 2 and a 1 there so 2 plus 1 is mm-hmm. 3 now minus look at this sign minus 2x squared times 1 please it's minus 2x squared 3 times x squared plus 3 x squared see that then mm-hmm. everything over what over x squared. x squared then you continue to say it's three minus collect like terms and you can see these guys are common they have got x to the power of two mm-hmm. so it's mine in the calculator you'd say minus three plus two it will give you plus one it's positive because three is bigger with the positive side oh yeah so here you'll have minus four x cubed plus 1x squared and then the answer is over what? over x to the power of 2 guess what? that's the end don't try to you know students are feeling like but it's too big I can't just leave it like that they just Mm -hmm. want to start adding these things 3 minus 4 is minus 1 they just feel like it looks incomplete this is done man because you can't do anything this is a number this is x to the power of 3 this is x to the power of 2 nothing else come on top okay. the answer you must be satisfied is the end that's it okay that's quite a complicated one huh? yeah was it just me? yeah they, they they bring that you find maybe three marks you know <laughs> yeah uh, you find some three marks in it so what you do now martin do me a favor every uh-huh. time you see this go back remember i said i will upload this thing and give it back to you so what do you do yeah. for me you you give yourself the same question for fast forward the 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 the, the, the video Give yourself mm-hmm. that question. Let's say, let me do it alone. Do it, do it, mm-hmm. do it. And then say, you're missing out. Or fast forward, check my answer, check your answer. I might have made yeah. a mistake myself. You know, you can actually inquire confident. I'm struggling here. Don't think you make any yeah. mistake. There are mistakes. But yeah. suppose, let's say we did it right. You ask yourself, where am I missing it? You watch the video. Mm-hmm. Now, go and look at similar problems. Now, yeah. one thing I gave you guys, I gave you previous papers. You agree with me? Yeah. Now, those previous papers, they are almost 10 different years there. Mm-hmm. It can be all, all, let me not say 10 different years, I'm lying, 10 different papers. Now, yeah. go and look at all the 10 papers, something similar. Tell, t- trust me, after the 10th paper, this guy mm-hmm. will be easier to approach now. 
Because mm. what you do now, you are telling myself, let me try to approach it as I follow the steps. It might yeah. be, of course, dif- different a bit. Then there is also memos on the same papers. You check the yeah. memo out. What, don't worry with the method. Usually I'll say, avoid sometimes if you have learned a certain method, follow the same method you have been learning, but check the final answer. Because mm-hmm. trying to dilute the method, you might actually get confused because usually in the memo, they, they, they jump a lot of stages. You know? mm-hmm. So look, follow the same system. Follow, okay. then check the final answer. After the 10th example, man, you'll see that this mm-hmm. thing is actually mm-hmm. giving you more sense to the approach, you know. So that is yeah. how now you approach your exam to say, let me look at what you have been doing. Let me look at something similar. So here mm-hmm. I'm giving you a skeleton for you to be going mm-hmm. and look at such problems, knowing that yeah. if I follow these things, chances are I will meet something similar and it will be easier for me to approach it. You know? mm-hmm. yeah. Then I think we're ending our lesson is uh, with exponents. That is the last part. And okay. with exponents, tell me about exponents. How is your, 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 your background? Um, not too bad. Eh? Not too bad. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So what I would yeah. ask you definitely to do is revise the laws. Now, the simple laws of exponents is when the base is the same, you add the exponents. Mm-hmm. That's when you, you find that one. Am I right? Yeah. Then yeah. when you divide, same base, base doesn't change, but when you divide, thank you, what do you say? Minus. Yeah, the, Sometimes the division can come in this form. This is still a mm-hmm. division. So when you take it to the top, you see, that becomes a minus. Mm-hmm. All right. Then there is the quick one uh, to say the zero exponent rule. Any number to the power of zero, it becomes a one. Any number. Mm-hmm. And then there is the one, the base one, any, I mean, a, one to the power of a, whatever the one is, you just get one. I mean, you can multiply one times one times one times 150 times. Okay. It's just simple, a one. Then okay. you have this law, which says if there's a bracket here, what do you do to this exponent? Multiply them. Multiply. All right. Sometimes they extend it. This is an extension of this law. The second one. They can be not, mm-hmm. it's now a times t, meaning the n will affect each one of them. That's why it's A, okay. N, T, N. Right. Then this rule, you see, it says if I see a negative there and I want to get rid of that negative, I must say 1 over A to the power of M. That's how the negative okay. goes away. Or the opposite is true. If I want to take it to the top, I introduce a what? A negative. negative. It's similar to this guy here. It's one, one and the same thing here. You see, A goes to the top, A, N. The N uh-huh. changes to become a negative. So it's actually this law in isolation. Like it's more like if I say to you here, uh, sorry about this. If I say one over a to the power of n, this guy only. So if I take it mm-hmm. to the top, it will be a to the power negative n, that negative uh-huh. n. You know? So that is that. These are rules that you must get comfortable with. Now, yeah. to extend further, this is the fraction version. You see this m? Uh-huh. It's, multi- it's affecting that and it's affecting that. That's why okay. AM over B to the power M. Now, the other version, now look at this. You see, I've got A to the power negative at the bottom. At the bottom, there is already a negative. So when I'm yeah. taking on top, it will be like this A to the power minus minus M. So the negative, negative okay. converted to a positive M. Okay. Then if it was okay. just 1 over a to the power m from positive, I take it to the top, it becomes a to the power mm-hmm. negative. But now if it's yeah. negative at the bottom, when it goes to the top, it becomes, you just interchange. Mm-hmm. Now, law number 8 also, you rarely use this one, trust me, rarely, but just for your interest sake, a over b simple becomes b over a because of that negative. Oh, okay. well, so when okay, you see, yeah, an, so if I say to you, I can take a calculator just quick to you and then just uh, mm-hmm. see what I'm going to do. Or you can try it. Uh, there it is. I take a calculator, put a bracket and say one over two. You see? Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. I close this bracket and then say to the power negative one is the power. Mm-hmm. It will give me two over one, which is two. You see? Uh, okay. So what happens? The two went to the top, the one at the bottom. So it's like you have got uh-huh. two over one and you know, two over one is simple. What? A two, so it flips. Okay. Right. Then yeah. we've got the sets. This one, please pay attention to this guy. Very important one. If you see a number like, if I just give you this to say four, it means square mm-hmm. root. There is a hidden two there. 
Mm-hmm. Right. So mm-hmm. this is square root of four, meaning it's four to the power one over two. Right. So okay. if I say to you on the calculator, I can give you two of them. If I say shift, put that. That's a cube root. Shift. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's somewhere. I'm trying to look for my square root here. It's there. If I put a two there, and I put mm-hmm. a four there, equal to. You see, I get a two. Yeah. And I say four okay. to the power a uh, half, one over two. I will also still get a what? I'll get a two. Mm-hmm. So that's the same thing. Meaning, if there is an n there, you just say one over n as an exponent, please. Exponent. Okay. Don't write this. This is what students do when they're writing exponent. They will say a to the power one over n. This this is now, um, and then they do this. That's not an exponent. It's like it's a times one over n. You know? So uh, make sure okay. when you write it a, then on top one over n. Make uh, me okay. see that it's hanging on top. Yeah. It's not the root. It's the fruit on the tree, my man. You know? <laughs> so even here, look at this guy here. The n here went to the bottom, but the m mm-hmm. went to the top. Mm-hmm. So be careful of this okay. uh, law number nine and law number ten. All right. Okay. Then um, I gave a bit here now. I, it's not advisable for me, Martin, to go straight away. I wanted to be giving you some short breaks. Do you want me yes, a five-minute break, finish up, or you want me to continue? Yeah, you can continue. I'm still okay. You're still okay. I'm still All right. Okay. Yeah. It's almost yeah. there. Look at this guy. Okay. Now, pay attention to these guys because I gave them as raw as they are so that you can kind of, in an exam, follow up to say what was happening. So, we'll try yeah. to do them simplified way. Look at the okay. first one here. You know? So this guy, it says 2 exponent 2 n, 4 n, and that, that. First things mm-hmm. first, man. They will never give you something without a reason. Always ask mm-hmm. yourself first of all, why give me such a problem? Now, mm-hmm. take your calculator. Then you do that thing of saying, for example, you see have, there are two numbers. 2 is already simplified, but 4 and 16. Mm-hmm. So you say 4 equal to shift fact. You say 16 equal to shift fact for me. My calculator doesn't have that function. Right. 16... Equal shift fact. 2 to the power of 4. You see, it's 2 to the power of 4, but there's an n there, so I put my n. And then uh, my 4 is 2 to the power of 2, I just put the n there. So, uh, so you see what they did? Yeah. Everything is in terms yeah. of 2, man. So mm-hmm. in your mind, they are hiding, they are trying to check to say, are you able to see that this was everything to the power of 2? Mm -hmm. Then from there, they are just saying, it's a simple question that uses law number one and law number two. Multiplication and division. Look at it. Mm -hmm. This division, you know when it goes to the top, it will become negative. Mm -hmm. So this is now the final answer. Just from here, you are going to write your two, please. Don't just add exponents. Now, multiplication Mm -hmm. I add, it's 2n plus Mm -hmm. the other one is 2n. Now, come here. What power is there? There is a hidden one. one. Thank you. So you say what? Plus one. Now, this guy went to the top to become negative. Then it's minus 4n once. Okay. You see what I'm trying to say? So, because it was a division, and we say, if you're saying 1 over a to the power of m, if it's positive, go to the top, it's a to the power negative m. That's the negative we did there. Oh, is that okay? Yeah, now I see it. All you understand? Right. Yeah, understand. yeah. So now, <clears throat> then after that, collect your like terms. You take a calculator. So in a calculator, you are adding 2 plus 2 there. And then minus 4. So it must give you what? 2 plus 2 minus 4. What I get it? 1. No, it's not going to be 1. Wait. 2 plus 2, two minus plus 4. Two? Yes. So it's 4 minus 4. Thank you. It's 0. Uh, you see that? Zero. Yeah. It's zero. And yeah. as I say, please, man, in your exam, I know students will always say, I know the <laughs> answer. Please, just, it's, my man, use the calculator. Use the calculator. Why, why, yeah. why, why did you bring it in the exam after all? If you're not going to yeah. use it. So this is zero N, so it means it's nothing, right? Then uh-huh. we are left with plus one. So this is two to the power of one. That's the answer. Okay. Um, so I just want to ask you a question quickly. Yeah. Um, they buy two to the power of four in yes. there next to your arrow. Yes. That uh, four to the power in went up. Next. Yes, it was positive here. So when yeah. it goes up here, it used oh, this law. 
positive m goes up negative mm -hmm. m okay and what happened to that two that for two four in that two come again the yeah. two the um the, yeah. it's a it's a um just below your the next your arrows again the, two the adding arrows. here uh, just above that one okay on this two to the power of n yeah so they in the bottom that that just be it's um uh next to the where you drew the drew the arrows to the top yes 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 and there's a two so is it divided by two to the power of four n yes so what happened to that two okay these two okay i understand now what you're saying yes. now remember the the part of saying let's come back to here i'll show you that thanks for that question okay. i'll come back to here uh come back to here come back to here if we come back to this law here thank you you see i'm using this law here now there is still a but since a and a are matching i don't have to repeat mm -hmm. it twice it's only once oh. because i've already oh. said i'm dealing with a here i'm dealing with a so if i say oh. for example 2 to the power of 5 over mm -hmm. 2 to the power of 2 now the mm -hmm. answer then becomes take this to the top but i'm focusing on the exponent it will be oh. 2 to the power 2 is already represented on both of them so i'll just yeah. say 5 minus 2. Okay. i don't have to write yeah. the bigger 2 now i don't have to write this 2 because already okay. the negative is telling me it went to the top but there is another mm -hmm. option just to show you mm -hmm. there is a, another mm -hmm. option where if i want to remain with that 2 what i'll do is I'll take it to the top and write it as 2 to the power of 5 times mm -hmm. 2 to the power of negative 2. Okay. Now look, the 2 is there, the 2 is there, but look at the sign, negative. Then I'm uh -huh. in the first law now. I'm back to the uh -huh. first law. The first law says if the a multiplies the other a, you add the what? You add the exponent. So uh -huh. I'll come here yeah. and say, I've, I'll write still 1, 2 now. Then I've got 5 uh -huh. plus minus 2, which is just 5 minus 2 taking us um, back to that oh yes yeah, yeah, yeah so okay. now when we are here you you could have said if it's confusing what you can do you can do it like this i understand what you're saying let me write it like this you'll say okay i have got 2 to the power of 2n which is fine mm -hmm. and then you say times 2 to the power of 2n times mm -hmm. 2 to the power of 1 then times 2 to the power of negative 4n now everything has oh, gone to the top Mm -hmm. So I have this oh. two, I have that two, and that one. Then after that, I will still come back and say, since they are multiplying, add them together. Then you're going to say 2n here plus mm -hmm. 2n plus 1 minus mm -hmm. 4m, okay. bringing us back to that one. Okay, see, now I see, see it. I see, understand see the part it. There. So at the end of the day, since, but I think follow this route so that you don't mm -hmm. find yourself repeating the two again. Mm -hmm. So if you can follow this route whereby, take the 2 to the top, so it will appear mm -hmm. as this one here, it will appear mm -hmm. here, but what is the sign? Negative. Negative. At least you can mm -hmm. see your 2, you understand what I'm saying? You can look at it yeah. and say, I know what happened, it was at the bottom, and where did it go? It went to the top. To the top. Then from oh, there, okay. then follow this route now to say, what happens when they are multiplying these guys? I must add their exponents. So it's this uh -huh. plus this plus this plus that but plus and minus minus is more powerful so the mm -hmm. plus doesn't change anything it will be simple minus for n okay making right. sense now right. guess what test yes mm -hmm. you come back and say let me quickly test this guy you say all right mm -hmm. choose any value of uh, of mm -hmm. n for example don't choose big numbers because exponents are much they grow faster so maybe say yeah. n is equal to three right mm -hmm. so you're going to yeah. test it actually you see our answer was just two so when we put yeah. n is equal to 3 here, or any number, actually I can put even 5 here, it will give us 3. So you take a calculator, let me show you now. Mm -hmm. Also, it's very important to use a calculator properly, you know. So look how I yeah. do with the n. Remember, I said okay. my n is 5. So I put a bracket, and then I'll say 2, are you with me? To yep. the power, right? Then uh -huh. 2n, so it's 2 times 5 two at times. the top. Uh -huh. Then play forward times because it's in the number now four always use the original but my power there mm -hmm. my n is what is five five play forward times two divided by 16 
to the power uh, my n is what is five uh, then you say equal uh, to you see i get a two uh, yeah. so uh, i'm showing yeah. you these things so that also tell yourself half of that paper by the way you know the marks you can actually tell yourself yeah. i got it right or i messed up there you can uh -huh. test your answers you don't have to come out asking me say do you think i i, I did it right here i'll ask you <laughs> just choose any number substitute between your first and the final answer if the final mm -hmm. answer had some something for example let's say the final answer had something to do with n here so you come here mm -hmm. again on the final answer and say n is equal to five then you compare mm -hmm. your answers if you compare them they must match yeah so it's not every time that you'll get a simple answer like that sometimes you'll have an answer in terms of n now put n on top put n in your final answer now the answer you got on top must match with the answer you got at the bottom now what is the risk of this method is when you don't mm. know how to do how to enter your calculator so you can yeah. end up getting wrong answers thinking you are wrong but because mm -hmm. you made errors on punching that number the calculator unfortunately you will mm. sabotage yourself so yeah it's practice but if you do it well it will actually become a reliable method yeah all right come back to this guy here it looks a bit right. complicated but this guy is the simplest guy first things first let me put it in 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 parts so that you can see how uh the examiner will be trying to trick you first of all he's tricking you with this guy here cube you see that and there's a, yeah. there's a three here so what you need yeah. to do you you remind yourself if i say that i told you it means bracket one over two there's a hidden two uh -huh. if i put a three like that it means bracket one over three okay. just like i said i put n there it means bracket one over one n. n don't forget so that's already you've gotten that secondly go to your calculator tell me what is 27 tell me what is 81. can you do that for okay. me okay 27 27 is 3 cubed you see 27 so there is always a reason man there is all, they won't give uh, you numbers that are just funny 27 is 3 cubed uh, give me 81. yeah 81 is uh, 3 to the power of 4. 3 to the power of 4. You see that these numbers are... You see, there's only something a catch on it. So it's only uh -huh. 3 and the letters. Now, look at this. We said the bracket means... The, the 3 there means bracket uh -huh. 1 over 3. Don't forget yeah. it's an exponent. Now, uh -huh. you just gave me... Now, be careful again. Look at the division line. It tells you that this guy here is affecting mm -hmm. everything inside oh, so okay, if yeah. i give you this for example i, do, I did this cube i said 27 a then i say over 81 a squared mm -hmm. now be careful now this cube is showing you that it's only affecting what this guy on top don't now yeah. apply it at the bottom please so you need to be yeah. sensitive also to say where is it stretching from and ending so you uh -huh. can see that at this stage everything is inside that thing so that's why okay. i put a, a fraction like that i'll write 27 mm -hmm. as your three cubed he told me that mm -hmm. sorry about this mm -hmm. is three cubed and then the letters are same a cubed b9 and then 81 you say it is three four it's, yeah and then b12 right then yeah. times we come back to this guy we can leave it like that since we haven't simplified much put a bracket mm -hmm. there are still brackets it's two but simple any number to the power of zero is what it's uh, one oh, uh, yeah, yeah, any, number, one. any number if i say 100 mm. to the power of zero that number is simply one now look yeah this is how you write it man don't tell don't say it was just a one they want it just a one but you must say uh -huh. times one times oh. b to the power of three and guess what oh. they are going to come and look for that mark and mark that oh it's a mark for you they mark you because you're using a law they will they are asking say this guy can identify that any number to the power of zero is a one you are mm -hmm. using a law you know it's not something you, yeah. take, you can take for granted so don't just say 2p cubed i mean 2p and 3 and then you delete this and then you say only 2p yes oh, you're right yes, but okay. you're trying to to, 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 to the mark says leave that one as times one so that we know uh, we know uh, what you know you know what i'm saying uh, oh uh, yes okay. so we are here now let's continue <clears throat> this guy from here uh let me just leave it so that you can see that from here is two options that you can do you can focus on what is inside and deal with what is inside this bracket here 
inside here. Yeah. You can deal with that. For example, mm -hmm. I can take 3 to the top. Remember, 3, 4, it will mm -hmm. become 3 minus 4. Mm -hmm. I can take B also to the top. So what will this become? Look at this. I will have 3 to the power of 3 times, mm -hmm. guess what? It's 3 to the power of negative 4. Oh, yes. Okay, Are you with yeah. me? Yeah, right. yeah. And then yeah. times, I've got A to the power of 3. Th done with A times, mm -hmm. I've got B to the power of 9. Mm -hmm. And then times, I'm taking B now to the top. It's B Neg negative 12. Uh -huh. You see that? But let's not forget, yeah. I still have my bracket, eh? My bracket mm -hmm. says yeah, to yeah. the power of what? 1, one over, over 3. three. Right? And times, I still have my other brackets. And mm -hmm. let me just erase this side. What is my other bracket? You see, remember, I simple. now you can say 2 times 1 is just 2. So you can have mm -hmm. 2b to the power of 3. Okay. Right? Because now we accept that you saw that was a 1. Uh -huh. Then, from okay. here, you are using now the first law. Everything is multiplying. We are back to the first law. Anything that is multiplying, you add. For example, 3, 3 is multiplying. So you say 3, which is to the power of 3 plus minus 4. You can write it like that because mm -hmm. times means plus. And then yeah. times here, a is the only a. So you leave it like that, a to the power of 3 times b. You see there are two of them, which is mm -hmm. 9 plus minus what? 12 because times yeah. means plus. This, this is simple 9 minus 12. And then uh -huh. times... You come back to this bracket and be careful now. What is 2 there? 1. What is B there? 1. So 3 times 1. You say 2 to the power 1 times 3. Oh, B yes. to the power 1 times 3. It's fine just to say 2 cubed, B cubed. It's still fine. Okay. Well, you don't okay. have to show this thing. I was just trying to, to show you that yeah. I know there is a 1, but it's not a must. You know? okay. Here, use a calculator, please. You'll be tired in the exam. Your, your mind will tell you 7 here. Trust me, it will say 3 plus 4 <laughs> yeah. because you are, you, are, you, are, you are under pressure. Eh? So here, yeah, you have yeah. 3 to the power of negative 1 times A to the power of 3 times B. You look at this 9 minus 12, it will give you uh, B to the power of negative, negative 3 times 2 to the power of 3 times B to the power of 3. Are we done? No. We still have something mm -hmm. common here, B and B. They are still multiplying. Oh, yes. So don't okay. end there. We continue. 3 to the power negative 1 times A, nothing else. We leave it like that. A to the power 3 times, we can take 2 for now. 2 to the mm -hmm. power of 3 times, I look at the B now. It's B to the power minus 3 plus 3. You see, because I'm adding this plus that. It's multiplication. Yeah. So it continues there to give me, I can bring the letters together, I mean the numbers, 3 to the mm -hmm. power negative 1 times 2 to the power of 3 times A to the power of 3. Now, minus 3 plus 3, it's times B to the power of 0. You see, it's coming again. Yeah. Now you continue. Look stupid, man. 3 to the power negative okay. 1, 2 to the power of 3, times a to the power of 3 times 1. I know you're like, but say, just, mm -hmm. this is too long. I mean, why do yeah. I still have to show them it's a 1? They saw that I know. Of course, even if you ignore it yeah. now, they will leave it because you showed this on top, you know. Then, yeah. if you want, you can use a calculator here. You can take a calculator to say 3 to the power negative 1 times this, and your calculator, I think, will give you 1 over 3 times a. I mean, it will actually to be 8 over 3 here. Just check it for me, and then you'll have... Yes. A to the power of 3. Uh, it's 3 to the power negative 1 times 2 cubed. 2, 3. Uh, it gives us a fraction 8 over 3. Yes, yeah. 8 over 3. Then there's that A to the power of 3. Then this becomes what? This becomes now the answer. The answer. You understand? So, as I said, yeah. how do you test it? I'm not going to do it for the sake of time here. But you do this. Yeah. You come here. You say, okay, I'm looking at this. I take my A. Maybe say A is 3. Since there is a B, B is 4. Now, mm -hmm. you know, you must know how to put a cube on the calculator. You know, mm -hmm. shift, there is, yeah. a, there is a function of a cube. So what you do, you say, I think it's here to say shift. You use that one. Yeah, yeah you saw that one. That's where you put yeah, the cube. You put it, then after that, come to the final answer. You'll get an answer here. It will give you a certain answer. Whatever answer you get, come here. 
you come here now mm -hmm. it doesn't have b you can only have a so where there is a you also put what you put three you compare mm -hmm. the two answers they okay. must match so i just want to make sure um did we use that one over three in the bracket come again let me just check this uh, this oh, one over three that we didn't yes, use that thank one you. thank you thank you oh that was <laughs> good man we lost this one over three right let me come back you are very very right let me put it there let me put it there am i right yeah it's one over three. Oh, and then you see i think that's another thing where i i love testing answers you know to say if it doesn't work it gives me like where is the wrong thing but yeah. thanks that you picked that up now yeah. let's come here i think it's here it's still there one over three right mm -hmm. and then i will still bring it in here actually thank you for that you will help those guys uh i think three three is still here all right yeah no 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 no, no. let's let's actually remove it let's delete it from here it will confuse everyone. Okay. Let's solve it from here. Okay. Because why am I saying that? We ended up moving B and B. So let's let's mm -hmm. leave it. It was 9 minus 12. We got that 3. So what do you do from here? Here, this 3 is multiplying every item, please. It will multiply mm -hmm. as exponents. So what mm -hmm. it's going to do, let me use a different marker now. It is going to be 3 to the power minus 1 times 1 over 3 times a to the power 3 times 1 over 3 times b to the power minus 3 times 1 over 3 see that then mm -hmm, times mm -hmm. that 2 cubed you will maintain and then times b cubed will maintain are you with me then from there yeah when you continue then you've got 3 times that is 3 to the power negative 1 over 3 times you cancel that but use a calculator there you'll get a to okay. the power one times b okay. there you use a calculator three times that it will be negative one now mm -hmm. let me bring this b closer it will be times uh -huh. b to the power of three times two to the power of three you see then uh, we focus okay. thank you for that now you see it changes now the mm -hmm. b now so when mm -hmm. you look at that b yeah so you continue on that three to the power of negative one over three times 2 to the power of 3 and bring the numbers together times mm -hmm. a to the power of 1 now look times b to the power i must add them minus 1 plus 3 plus 3 then final fi final answer 3 to the power negative 1 over 3 times for now at n1 they allow this answer like this they will allow uh -huh. your yeah, okay. later stage n2 they will tell you leave your answer with positive exponents so they do uh -huh. 3 to the power 2 then they will allow okay. it to live like that. Thanks for picking up, up that. Mm -hmm. So okay. usually what happens is when I keep every time, even when I do my memos, because of these errors mm -hmm. that I always pick up, uh, yeah. you know, sometimes, you know, it's, as I say, pressure of time and everything. So when I test yeah. the answer on top and it refuses, I, it's a red flag to say, where did you make an error? Then I start investigating, yeah. as you say, you start picking up. But usually if it's in an exam situation, you leave it like that because you are too much, mm -hmm. You know, you have been zooming in too much on the answer. You might waste time. Go yeah. to the next question. You will come back with a fresh eye. Read to it again. You know? yeah. And you want to be know why, why, where did you make the error, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So just wrapping this up. My time is almost up, but this will be wrapping up now. Logarithms. Okay. Very important topic again. Very, very important. Look now. If you take your calculator, say, in your calculator, locks. You see, you have got two versions of locks. You see that lock? Mm -hmm. This means there is a default 10 at the bottom. I will show you what I mean. Yeah. Then, if I give you this lock here, this means I can put my base that I want. Uh -huh. Alright. So here, if I just give you this version, I'm telling you the base is 10. But if I just say mm -hmm. lock, lock 5, I'm saying there is a hidden 10 there. Okay. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Then there is a mm -hmm. second law of locks where his lock base e is called x. This means lin, lin x. If the base yeah. is E, it's the length. Then we have got a few rules of logs. And then it's just like exponents. When you say here, number one, log XY, you know. But XY means X dot, means X times Y. When it's multiplying, yeah. what do you do? You add. So it's okay. log base A X plus. So this plus is there for multiplication. Mm -hmm. Right. Or the version says, I can be given a plus log A base x i mean log base a of x plus 
look at the bases, they are the same. If the mm -hmm. bases are the same, I write the base just like in exponents, write one thing, then you multiply x mm -hmm. times y. Why? Because of the plus. Okay. Yeah. okay. Same okay. thing with minus, yeah. it, it does the same. x over y, you see there is a hidden minus, there, there is minus, which is here. Yeah. Yeah. Are you seeing that? Okay. The plus, if you yeah. twist the plus, it becomes a times, you know. In a way. Okay. So here the minus is there if it's division, or they will give you sometimes this version they say solve us log base x of log base a of x minus. If you see minus, it means division. Uh -huh. right. okay. Secondly, but I will emphasize this loss. If you are given this rule, this is an important one now. This one, mm -hmm. x to the power of n. This n man drops to the bottom to become this n here. But uh -huh. it multiplies, okay. please. It's n in the calculator. Don't say n log. You must say n times. Otherwise, your calculator okay. will read this as wrong. Oh, okay. okay. At the same what time, else? when you see n at the bottom here, it means you can take it back to become a power there. Oh yes, so okay. It is. You understand? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now it, it okay. says extension of this rule. You see, if there is an m already here. But there is mm -hmm. another n on top. When it comes down, these guys must multiply each other. Oh, uh, don't okay. forget that. But to okay. put a bracket, always put a bracket mm -hmm. so that you know. Don't mm -hmm. forget that. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, if you have m here and this n is here, this guy when he goes top there, he must also multiply there. Okay. Just like he was multiplying, yeah, he's yeah. multiplying. Right. Then yeah. also simple one. If you have got a base and a number matching, it's equal to one. A, A, Y. Oh, okay. And then same thing as E, E is lin E, which is Y. Okay. Right. Simple one. Question here. Simplify those following. Let me make it a bit small. It says, simplify the following logarithms without using what? A calculator. Okay, okay. Now, pay attention. I say, they will never give you numbers without a reason. So here they just say, yeah. 2 log 3, 200. 2 log base 3 of 243 minus that, that, that. Now, the first thing mm -hmm. you must ask yourself is, why are they giving me 243? Shift is 243 equal to shift fat. Can you do that for me? Mm, always remember that thing, man. It's always, you see, it's appearing yeah. across, you know. 3 to the power of 5. Did you see now, there was a reason. Man. So what you do is, it's 2 log base 3. Look at it. Mm -hmm. 3 to the power of 5. You see, there was a reason uh -huh. there. Minus uh -huh. log base x. Of what? Of x, x to the power of 9. Two laws, mm -hmm. actually it's one, two laws you're going to use. I said if you are given log base a, and then you are mm -hmm. given, for example, um, m to the power of n. Now this mm -hmm. n drops down here to become n times log base a of m. See, I dropped out. So mm -hmm. what I'll do, this 5 will come here drop down but remember it comes and multiplies this uh -huh. nine will go down there also because they were powers so what will uh -huh. i have i'll have here because of that two it will be two times five always protect it with a with a bracket uh -huh. then you have got okay. log base three of three i'm trying to match that uh -huh. you see that uh -huh. minus uh, again okay. drop the nine but the nine is alone there so it's one times nine uh -huh. so it's simple nine times log now look at the base, it's x of x. x. I'm trying to match that. Uh, then okay. when I continue, 2 times 5, okay. it's 10. Log 3, log 3, remember it's back to say log, if the base is a and I get an a, the answer is what? It's 1. one. So here also log 10 times 1 minus 9 times 1. Then 10 minus 9, the answer is simple a what? A 1. one. You can choose a calculator, use that, put any value of x, say maybe x is 5, it will simply give you uh -huh. a 1 there. Okay. Are, you, are you with me? So now, yeah. this is actually uh, a few steps uh, towards that very important one there, that will be actually ending this lesson. Look at this, I think last two, 4.3. Again, important man, it's not the length that makes it difficult, it's your analysis uh -huh. that says it was actually simpler uh -huh. than what I thought. If obviously, they uh -huh. don't want you to use a calculator, but yeah. sometimes I advise you, use the calculator. For example, yeah. let's say I wanted to use a calculator here. It's possible. Be careful though. Okay, let me not use it now, but it's very important. 
how we're going to test our answer i'll show you that let's work it straight from there now okay when you see that square root you must mm -hmm. remember square means bracket one over two those are things to notify okay. those are things to remind yourself uh -huh. why give me a square root can i convert that uh -huh. secondly why give me 16 why give me 25 uh -huh. why give me four those are questions uh -huh. that you must be answering yourself now let's start with this one here we said eight log you see already i've got a base e there right <laughs> and then yeah e to the power one over two i want to match that e and e oh, so see. which means let me go ahead of myself mm -hmm. this half i'm gonna drop it down there it will multiply so this guy here will simply mm -hmm. become what eight times one over two log oh. e of e done yeah. are you seeing that okay plus we yeah. back there yeah. plus you ask yourself why did you give me 16? 16. it's 2 to the power of what 4 so you come here and say log actually i'm uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah this me log base 2 2 to the power of what is it 4 or 8 i mean 4, it's four. yeah that's 4 yeah and again i'm gonna take this guy drop him down there so that i will have what mm -hmm. plus 4 plus. log 2 of 2 there must be a reason why you're giving me stuff now yeah. look at the next one mm -hmm. look at the next one they say it minus and they put a bracket man and when they put a bracket mm -hmm. there is something interesting they did to the bracket look at the base they mm -hmm. gave you 10 they gave you 10 mm -hmm. meaning apply the law they are trying to catch your first law remember the first law says if you are given log in base a for example of m plus mm -hmm. log again in base a of n base is the same then this uh -huh. is equal to log, you write the log once in base A, because of plus, you say M times N. Uh, you see, you see what I'm trying to do. So here, yeah. you're going to come back and say, um, when I make it different, they say minus, you're like, okay, I, you're trying to catch me there. Like, because here, it will give you 5 squared here. And mm -hmm. 5 and 10 are not related, you see. Here it will give you 2 yeah. squared. So you've got 5, 10, 2. You must ask yourself, but this is getting further away from what I want. Like 25 mm -hmm. was going to be 5 squared. 4 was going to be 2 squared. So you ask yourself, if I keep dropping these things, if I drop 2, I will have log base 10 of 5. But 10 and 5 mm -hmm. makes things even more complicated. Even yeah. here, you'll have 2 log 10 of 2. I'm not winning it now because mm -hmm. it's nothing is common. But guess what? You can actually come and say, wait, let me look at my 10 and my 10. There must be a reason. Same base with a plus, I must multiply. So it will be log, you write the base ones, base 10, we are here now, base A, and then M times N, 25 times 4. You see? Here we multiplied mm -hmm. M, we multiplied N. Here you multiply 25. You multiply four. There is a plus. Mm -hmm. There is a plus. Okay. You understand what we're doing. And then yeah, we continue. Yeah. We continue with this guy. Here, mm -hmm. eight times half. It's four. Now, log e e. We say it is times one. Plus mm -hmm. four. Log two two times one minus. Come back again. Twenty five times four. It's log base ten. 25 times 4 is a hundred. Right. You see now where it's going now. You come back and say, mm -hmm. okay, it's fine. Let's continue. 4 plus 4 is 8 minus log base 10. And you know what is 100? 100 is 10 to the power of 2. Mm -hmm. You understand? Why? Because yeah. I, remember they say, don't use a calculator. I need to take this 2 and drop it down here so that I will have now equal to uh, equal to here. 8 minus 2 log 10 of 10. 10. That becomes a what? Simple a 1. So one. the answer there is 8 minus 2. And 8 minus 2 is what? It's 6. And as I said, let's take this thing to the original here. If you were now mm -hmm. using a calculator, let's say you started with a calculator and you wanted just to check yourself to say, let me just quickly check what was my answer before I work it out. You come here. Now pay attention. Now you're going to punch this. You okay. see, there is an 8 here. So I will say 8 mm -hmm. is very important to put a bracket. Because the calculator yeah. won't understand no. 8 log. If you just say uh. 8 log like that, you'll get it wrong. Uh -huh. The calculator will misinterpret okay. everything. 
you know. Oh, so okay. I just say eight bracket meaning it knows I must multiply that. And then you say mm. log. Now where is the e? It's somewhere there is an e there. You see it down there. So you say shift. Oh, yeah. You press. I think it's alpha actually. Alpha that guy. Yes, it's alpha now. Oh, there it is. Yeah. But now you see the calculator. If you just say e like that, they will penalize you because I think. I ah, know this is fine. Let's leave it like that. Usually, some of them they want a power. Let's go on, and then I mm -hmm. put square root, mm -hmm. and then I say shift. I mean, not shift is mm -hmm. alpha e. You see that? Mm -hmm. If it gives us an error, yeah. I'll tell you why. I'll come back and put powers okay. there. Then plus. Okay. Are you with me? And then I'll say log yes. base yeah. two, <coughs> and then I've got what? I've got sixteen, right? Mm -hmm. And then I've got yeah. minus. Put a bracket. Now I've got log base 10 okay. of what? Of 25. 25. And then what else? Plus log okay. base 10 of 4. 4. Then what do we do? Don't forget. You see, be careful. I opened the bracket here. You see that? I opened here. I opened, uh -huh. I opened the bracket, oh, minus bracket. Yeah. But look at the calculator. When I say log, it opens its own. And it closes. Uh -huh. It closes. It, but there is my open one there. I continue yeah. here. I said four, it opened and closed, but I must close my one I opened. Put another one. Uh -huh. Otherwise, it will give you okay, an error. Say equal to, you see, gives me a 20. I think it's, there comes, I think it's my calculator here, the way I punched it. Is this eight that is a problem there? Mm -hmm. If I can try oh. to remove, with the locks, they are just, it's just sensitive because the calculator will interpret things, it's on. So mm -hmm. if I, don't know. I think I know the wrong. You see, look at this. I opened the thing here. You see the opening? Uh, and the calculator yeah. opens its own. Mm -hmm. Remember, it opens its own and closes it. Yeah. I was supposed to come here and close here. Here, yeah, I was supposed to close good. my own because I opened my 8. The calculator opened, close, close. Let's try that. There mm -hmm. is a 6. So six. it's a bit sensitive with the testing. Mm, but if you mm. not know and you don't pick up, you know, with experience, and you might get it wrong. That was our answer. Yeah, our six there. Okay. All right. But as I said, please get time. Repeat these things. Give yourself a problem similar. Then go throughout the papers from the first exam that we gave you until the last. Work uh -huh. it out until you can say, okay, I got it. Now okay. I think this is the yeah. ultimate. We're ending it here. Let me just check my. All notes. right. Yes, thank you. You see, this is the tomorrow's lesson, this one, where we are going okay. to continue from is number five. So today, right. we, are, we are on track. This is our last one, Good. and I've got eight minutes to finish this one, my man, because tomorrow you must go to work. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's finish it up. Now, look at this, man. Please just pay attention the last time. I know you are exhausted now. Okay. We need to go. Okay. They will say, use logarithms with base 10 to determine mm -hmm. the value of x show all the calculations so now mm -hmm. in a way they are saying find the answer using logs so what you do is take a calculator here find the answer of this so you need to know what is it but then they want you to they want you to use logs so i'll take a calculator yeah. and say square root of 19 comma 3 4 right mm -hmm. just check mm -hmm. if i'm doing that right 7 comma 4 mm -hmm. 1 and then right. multiplied by 9.87. So we want to find out what is the answer. And the answer is, let's say, by the way, do you know how to round off with your calculator? Um, okay, you say shift. Not, yeah. You see this shift? And then say setup. Yeah. Then number uh -huh. six is fix. Okay. Then let's say you want to round off three decimal places, fix to three. Then I put three. Right. Then see, it has rounded oh, off. Yes. So it will oh, be five yes, okay. comma eight five eight so it's five mm -hmm. comma eight five eight so the question is use the laws logarithms get this answer mm -hmm. so what do we do this is how we go about it now the moment they do that you just put logs logs on both sides you say log x mm -hmm. is equal to log that thing as is square root of mm -hmm. 19 comma 3 4 nothing mm -hmm. much just write it as is yeah. times 9,87. You just write it as is. Just put logs. What do you just yeah. did? Introduce logs. Some they introduce lean. It's still allowed, but there's I said logs. Sometimes if they say here natural, if they say use natural logs, the, the moment they start with uh -huh. it natural, don't say log, say lean and say lean. Okay. That's natural right. logs. But if they just yeah. say logs, 
with base 10 you just have to say you see if i say base 10 i don't need to write 10 here i just have to say log yeah because the default yeah. is what is 10. 10. all right next one since i have introduced logs what do i do i must apply the rules here if i see a division mm -hmm. i must subtract if i see a multiplication i must add you see now the thing. Okay. So let's do that. Yeah. So on this right. side, it doesn't change. It will be still log x is equal mm -hmm. to log. Now, since there was that, I can remember I said square root means bracket 1 over 2. Let me take advantage mm -hmm. of that. So it will be bracket 19,34 to the power 1 over 2. That's the first part. But division mm -hmm. means minus log Remember, I'm dividing. It's minus. Yeah. So log 7,41. Now times means plus log oh, yeah. mm -hmm. 9,87. You see, mm -hmm. I've just introduced logs. That's what they mean there. Then you, you go back yeah. log x is equal to. Now, can you please? Um, okay, now before I do that, take this mm -hmm. half, drop it. Mm -hmm. So it will be here okay. when I drop it. So I will have yeah. 1 over 2 here and then bracket. Now, can you please find me log 19,34 on the calculator? Just say log okay. without base. Log 19,34. 19,34. Give me the numbers you're getting there. Is 1.286. 86. Right? We got yeah. that. Then minus. Okay, I must put a bracket there to close that half. Then minus. Give me log 7,41. Look, yes. 7,41 is equal to 0 0.869. 8,69. Give me now log 9,87. 9,87 is 0 0.994. 9,94. You see now, we have back to the numbers. Mm -hmm. Then you continue on your side here. Log x okay. is equal to, now punch me this, what you see on the calculator. Say 1 over 2 bracket. Say 1, mm -hmm. 286, close the bracket. Uh, bracket and then 1.286. Yes. 1.286. Minus. Bracket minus. 0, 0,869. Plus, plus 0, 0.994. 0, 0,994. Then tell me the answer you get. I get 0 0.768. 68, right? Now. Yeah. This is the final now. What happens from here? From here, don't forget, what is the base? They say it is base what? 10. 10. Now, you see that base 10 now. What I'm going to do, that's how mm -hmm. this thing changes. If I give you this, man, if I say to you, mm -hmm. log in base A of X is equal mm -hmm. to M. Now, that mm -hmm. base A will become A to the exponent M is equal to oh, X. Yes. I'm going to apply it here. Mm. So A is my 10. So I'll say 10. Mm. My M is my 0, 0,768. Uh, so to the power, mm. don't forget it's a power, 0, mm -hmm. 0,768 is equal to X. So what is my X? I get, uh, I get it as 5.861. 5.861. Now let's check it yeah. with the final. Remember we tested this guy there? 5.8. Yeah. 5. You see? The rounding off, so, we're rounding off. Yeah. Here. You have got because they give an allowance. We have got five point eight, five eight. You have got two numbers after uh -huh. three numbers, like six one here. It's uh -huh. almost the same, like because oh, our yeah. rounding off was doing all this. So they have a, they have yeah. a, re a range of answers there, depending. So I, I just I didn't uh, do my calculator setting it for the up to three decimals. Okay. You know, so maybe that's yeah, you say maybe if we're missing it there, missing it there. So if you, that those mm. kind of thing. So, but you see, mm. we use the calculator, I mean, our logs to come up with the answer that we got when we just go straight to the calculator. So now, yeah. with this one, you know, I have to say congratulations to myself. It's 9.59. The net, the yes. net check was not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too perfect to be true. This thing just went on like that. I thought ugh, things will be it out of that. time. But thank <laughs> you, sir. I hope you did learn uh, for the lesson. Yeah. Um, it did yeah, benefit, but um, I would say this is just a sketch, just to give you an outline mm -hmm. to say, guys, there's still a work to do. Give yourself time. Yeah. But I hope it yeah. was of benefit to you.
tomorrow we we'll continue with the uh, modules i know some of the areas you might be strong but for the sake of everyone i'm forced to go through the the, 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 the curriculum you know so some areas maybe you might find ah it's not really bad but you can use mm. this for your streaming let me go to mm -hmm. the first page this is the part that can actually guide you to say what is it covering i'll be covering you see day two day three so I'll actually yes i'll cover equations subject of formula distance speed time revolutions and wet problems it is day two and then also day three but day three again mm. there is algebraic graphs and graph sketch i'm going to cover that part mm. that is um Am I right? Actually, we covered we covered day two swag, man. I'm sorry. Can you believe? <laughs> I mean, you just did day two swag. Oh my goodness! Those guys when they come were in day three, man. We are day ahead, so that unfortunately I can't mm -hmm. go back. What we can do, what we can do is on day three we are going to have a day, a day extra. You see here on day nine, mm -hmm. on day five, there is still a lesson and questions and answer. So I will mm -hmm. dedicate day five only to questions. So you guys bring mm -hmm. in your questions. And we just focus on questions. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you will give me your mm -hmm. questions the previous day uh, or afternoon of it. Just send, send, send. I put it on the slide because it will be different people. It will be difficult sometimes for someone from the other end to be sending stuff while the lesson is live. Yeah. So you send, send, send. I upload it so that we can work on it. You know, wholesome as one thing. So yeah. that is that will yeah. be the last day. So we have already gained the day, but I will use this learning thing in the future to say actually I can do that in one lesson. But thank you, Seth. Yeah. We've come to the end of our lesson. Thanks. So if ever there is no other question, then we can end our lesson today. Yeah. Yes, sir. I don't have any questions right now. But thank you very much. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you very much. Uh, enjoy thank the you rest of your night. And tomorrow, have thank a pleasant day. Thank, thank you, Jay. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.